Theory of Machines Test Questions Question When which among the following involves designing of machine components concerning its shape and size? A. Kinetics B. Kinematics C. Synthesis D. All of the above Answer. Synthesis. Question 2. What is meant by kinetics? A. It deals with the study of relative motion between different components of a machine. B. It deals with the forces acting on different components. C. It deals with the inertia forces acting on different components of the engine. D. All of the above. Answer. It deals with the inertia forces acting on different components of the engine. Question 3. Which of the following statements is, are true? A. A resistant body transmits required motion and forces with deformation. B. Flexible links transmit compressive force. C. Structures transmit mechanical work. D. All of the above. Answer. A resistant body transmits required motion and forces with deformation. Question for relative motion between links is more than one direction which is unpredictable is known as A. Completely constrained motion B. Incompletely constrained motion C. Successfully constrained motion D. None of the above Answer. In completely constrained motion. Question 5. Shaft with taper key is an example of A. In completely constrained motion. B. Completely constrained motion. C. Successfully constrained motion. D. All of the above. Answer. Successfully constrained motion. Question 6. Which among the following involves designing of machine components concerning its shape and size? A. Kinetics. B. Kinematics. C. Synthesis. D. All of the above. Answer. Synthesis. Question 7. What is meant by kinetics? A. It deals with the study of relative motion between different components of a machine. B. It deals with the forces acting on different components. C. It deals with the inertia forces acting on different components of the engine. D. All of the above. Answer. It deals with the inertia forces acting on different components of the engine. Question 8. Which of the following statements is, are true? A. A resistant body transmits required motion and forces with deformation. B. Flexible links transmit compressive force. C. Structures transmit mechanical work. D. All of the above. Answer. A resistant body transmits required motion and forces with deformation. Question 9. Relative motion between links is more than one direction which is unpredictable is known as A. 
completely constrained motion. B. In completely constrained motion. C. Successfully constrained motion. D. None of the above. Answer. In completely constrained motion. Question 10. Shaft with taper. Key is an example of. A. In completely constrained motion. B. Completely constrained motion. C. Successfully constrained motion. D. All of the above. Answer. Successfully constrained motion. Question 11. A connecting rod has periodic time of 1.5 seconds slash cycle for one oscillation. Calculate radius of gyration when center of gravity is at a distance of 500 millimeters from the small end. A. 0.1325 meters. B. 0.1719 meters. C. 0.0295 meters. D. 0.555 meters. Answer 0.1719 M. Question 12. Which theory is used to determine safe design of bearings? A. Uniform wear theory. B. Uniform pressure theory. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer. Uniform pressure theory. Question 13. Frictional torque transmitted by uniform wear theory is more than torque transmitted by uniform pressure theory. A. True. B. False. Answer. False. Question 14. Double block brake is a type of A. Band brake B. Internal expanding shoe brake C. Shoe brake D. None of the above Answer. Shoe brake Question 15. Which energy is absorbed by the brakes of an elevator during braking process? A. Potential energy. B. Kinetic energy. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer. Potential energy. Question 16. Which type of brakes have wooden locks placed inside flexible steel band? A. Block brake. B. Band brake. C. Band and block brake. D. Pivoted block brake. Answer. Band and block brake. Question 17. In the equation Rn equals PL, X dash, A, if X, if then the brakes are A. Self energizing, B. Self locking, C. Self starting, D. None of the above. Answer. Self-locking. Question 18. According to loop closure equation, 
in a closed loop mechanism the sum of relative position vectors for the links is a less than 1 b 0 c greater than 1 d none of the above Answer, zero. Question 19. Why is double hux joint used? A. To obtain uniform velocity ratio. B. To obtain variable velocity ratio. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer, to obtain uniform velocity ratio. Question 20. Which of the following kinematic pairs is classified depending upon the mechanical arrangement between the links? A. Primatic pair. B. Revolute pair. C. Force closed pair. D. Sliding pair. Answer, force close pair. Question 22. Which pairs are considered as higher pairs? A. When transmitting motion, two links have line or point contact between them. B. When transmitting motion, two links have surface contact or line contact between them. Answer, when transmitting motion, two links have line or point contact between them. Question 21. Torsional pendulum is used to determine mass moment of inertia of A. Flywheel B. Rigid bar C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer, flywheel. Question 23. Come and follower is an example of A. Force closed bear. B. Unclosed bear. C. Open pairs. D. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 24. Trifilar suspensioning system is used to determine mass moment of inertia of A. Disc B. Flywheel C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer, both A and B. Question 25. The difference between which two factors denotes the correction couple? A. Difference between force required to accelerate non-dynamically equivalent system and dynamically equivalent system. B. Difference between torque required to accelerate non-dynamically equivalent system and dynamically equivalent system. C. Difference between torque required to decelerate dynamically equivalent system and non-dynamically equivalent system. D. None of the above. Answer. Difference between torque required to accelerate non-dynamically equivalent system and dynamically equivalent system. Question 26. On which factors does law of friction depend? A. Nature of material. B. Area of contact between surfaces. C. Velocity of sliding. D. All of the above. Answer. 
Answer, nature of material. Question 27. What are crank effort diagrams? A. Turning moment diagram is drawn on Cartesian coordinates. B. Turning moment diagram is drawn on polar coordinates. C. Turning moment T is plotted against crank angle for various crank positions. D. All of the above. Answer, turning moment T is plotted against crank angle for various crank positions. Question 28. Which of the following statements is, are true? A. Friction clutches give positive engagement. B. Square-shaped jaws and jaw clutch are driven in one direction. C. Spiral-shaped jaws and jaw clutch are driven in one direction. D. All the above statements are true. Answer. Spiral-shaped jaws and jaw clutch are driven in one direction. Question 29. Which clutch is known as wet clutch? A. Single-plate clutch. B. Multi-plate clutch. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer. Multi-plate clutch. Question 30. In centrifugal clutches, when is the contact between shoe friction lining and surface of drum observed? A. When centrifugal force is less than spring force. B. When centrifugal force is equal to spring force. C. When centrifugal force is greater than spring force. D. None of the above. Answer. When centrifugal force is equal to spring force. Question 31. Calculate the torque transmitted by the clutch having four shoes, which has spring force of 700 N and centrifugal force of 4000 N. Rim diameter is 560 mm and coefficient of friction is 0 0.3. A. 1100 N. B. 1000 N. C. 1,579 N. D. 1,108.8 N. Answer. 1,108.8 N. Question 32. Determine the power transmitted if dead weight on brake is 70 kilograms and engine has a speed of 300 revelations per minute. One end of the rope has a diameter of 0.05 meters is attached to a spring balance which has a reading of 150 N. Diameter of drum is 1 meter. A. 8.851 kilowatts. B. 8.851 W C 1319.46 W D None of the above Answer 8.851 kilowatts Question 33. Which parameters can be measured using a dynamometer? A. Force. B. Torque. C. Power. D. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 34. Identify the type of absorption dynamometer. A. Epicyclic dynamometer. B. 
Prony brake dynamometer. C. Torsion dynamometer. D. Tatham dynamometer. Answer. Prony brake dynamometer. Question 35. Which of the following statements is a false? A. To prevent heat generated due to friction, rope brake dynamometers are provided with cooling water. B. Angle of twist up to one tenth of degree can be measured by Glibson flashlight torsion dynamometer. C. In pneumatic brakes, the ratio between hydraulic pressure and air pressure is 15 to 1. D. All the above statements are false. Answer. Angle of twist up to one-tenth of degree can be measured by Glimpson flashlight torsion dynamometer. Question 36. The relation between number of links and number of lower pairs is given as n equals 2p4. If LHS is less than RHS of this equation then the chain is a. Constrained b. Locked c. Structure d. Unconstrained Answer. Unconstrained. Question 37. One quaternary joint is equal to how many binary joints? A. 4. B. 3. C. 2. D. None of the above. Answer. 3. Question 38. What's mechanism is based on? A. Inversions of single slider chain mechanism. B. Inversions of double slider chain mechanism. C. Inversions of four bar chain mechanism. D. Inversions of five bar chain mechanism. Answer. Inversions of four-bar chain mechanism. Question 39. Scotch yoke mechanism is the inversion of A. Single slider kinematic chain. B. Double slider kinematic chain. C. Four-bar chain. D. None of the above. Answer, double slider kinematic chain. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and share.